Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Lee. Liz, you are a trumpet player. Please spit out your gum. The rest of you, let's jump right in. So, Debussy is considered our first impressionist composer. Impressionist, can anybody tell me what that means? Zoe. It doesn't have a melody or something? Right, right. Debussy was less concerned about a melody and more about um, evoking a mood and an emotion. He used notes like a paintbrush, painting colors that conveyed an impression. So, what moods are being conveyed right now? Go ahead, shout them out. Uh, sadness. Loneliness. Fear you might lose Emma forever. Really, really, Zoe? You, you, you got that from the song? No, I got that from how you were playing the song. I mean, are we really not gonna talk about your husband-in-law? My, my what? The guy that's married to your wife, man. Your brother-husband or whatever. <laughs> Marcus, he's not my brother-husband. Oh, you know, my cousin is in a closed quad and it really works for them, so I don't see why a triple can't work. Okay, first of all, Dylan, it's called a thruple. And se okay, we're not having this conversation, all right? Let's go. Instruments up. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, <laughs> Claire alone. Come on. Who tries to get palm reading? No, 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 no. Okay, the most romantic place we ever went to. Ooh. I know I'm supposed to say Paris. But uh, it's Amsterdam. Amsterdam. Yeah. New Year's Eve. We fought about that stupid bike clock until 11.59. <laughs> yeah. And then the clock turned and you said, well, I don't care who lost it. I just want to spend my whole year with you. And then you, you kissed me and, and then felt like nothing mattered except us. And you're right. You did lose that lock, by the way. No, yeah. I didn't lose. Lo you lost the lock by the river. No, no, no. I've had I've had a lot of time to think about this, and I have decided. I remember you losing it. Uh, okay. Agree to disagree. Okay. Cabin awaits. Oh, come on! Tuba? Come on, Tuba, get it together. I thought I did pretty good. You are, Marcus. Yeah, you are. You, you, you're great. You're... Great. We haven't been here since... Our wedding. Right. That old thing. <clears throat> Do you want a drink? Please. Okay, great. Let's see what we can find here. So you can build a fire now? So you get tattoos now. I guess a lot has changed. Some things, yeah, sure. But nothing that really matters to us. Finally. Finally. <laughs> Smooth. <laughs> what does it say? Oh. <clears throat> um, and so I walked on. Oh, 
never leave your side again. All I ever wanted was one more day to be with you. Jesse. Just turns on when you need it. Off when you don't. Yeah. Foss, but you're wild, huh? What happened out there? Focus on us right now. I'll tell you what I do need. I mean, what I really, really need. Oh, you're such a jerk. Mm -hmm. You know that? Yeah. Mr. Lee, just hey, a couple Sam, of questions. Oh, shit. Mr. Lee, is the wedding off? Um. Is, is Emma here? Is um, she here? Can, can we just get a little privacy, please? We? Oui. Does that mean you're still getting married? No, I, I... It's off? I honestly don't know. Are you afraid that your fiancé is gonna leave you and go back to her husband? Sam, have you talked to Jesse yet? <clears throat> Do you feel as though it's that your fiancé still loves one? Yeah. Can you tell us? I mean, who realized that? 